next time you look at dinosaurs and look at the apatosaurus as you leave and just imagine the water up to its tummy and suddenly the dinosaur makes sense until the theory they didn't make any sense at all. Dinosaurs went extinct roughly 65 million years yes. ago on the basic timeline. I, I, I'd like to understand more about how you actually see this in, in sort of the evolutionary scheme. To talk about dinosaurs being living in an environment which is always shallow, shallow seas, you know, 160 million years of planetary activity was not unchanged. Clearly, you know, the seas drying up. The scientists are saying that yes, in the Triassic period, 200 million years ago, there were, you know, semi-aquatic yes. dinosaurs. You just said that the, the seas dried up 65 million years ago. That no, 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 obviously again, no, no, my dear chap, the seas were <coughs> again. No, 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 but you're talking about the shallow seas yes. drying up, that it was not a meteorite. That's a separate issue, we don't need to get into the yeah. extinction of dinosaurs. But can you try to put this in perspective of that very, very Yes, long basically, the, not in a lecture like this in detail, for obvious reasons. Yeah, sure. Uh, but at the time that the dinosaurs were laid down, and you know this because of where we find their fossils, we only ever find, no dinosaur fossil has ever been found except in mudstone or siltstone or sandstone. And the name gives it away. And the, if you look at the major finds of dinosaurs in the United States, then in the Morrison Formation that extends right the way up into Canada, down to New Mexico and halfway across the whole of the US, it is all water, sediment, rock. It is all rock that was laid down originally as a lake bed. If you go into Britain, you will find the blue lias that extends right the way across the whole of South Wales, and there are all the footprints, and there are all the dinosaurs. It's layer after layer after layer of alluvial mud. If you look in northern France, you find exactly the same. No dinosaur skeleton has ever been found except in an alluvial deposit in the shallow sea. And that explains it. Of course things change slowly. And dinosaurs took hundreds of millions of years, <coughs> and not just overnight, to become extinct. But they slowly died out as their, not as the seas dried up, but as the seas modified and as the landscape changed, as their habitat slowly vanished. In fact, they hung on for a remarkably great length of time considering the difficulties that they faced. But fit them against the plate tectonic model and you'll see that once mountain building began, that's when the dinosaurs began to move. And I see no difficulty at all with the chronology. It needs analysis, and with any luck it will have some in our paper, but it isn't a problem at all. <laughs> <laughs>